guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the You Have No Power Over Me collection by Lynn B Designs. So this releases July 13th for $60 for the six piece collection. Plus if you purchase the entire collection, you do get free shipping. So in the description box below, I will link the Lynn B site, I will link their Instagram page, and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of this collection. And let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Hoggle is Hoggle's friend, and this is described as an orangey base loaded with orange to pink to gold flakies and linear hollow shimmer. Here's our first coat of Hoggle is Hoggle's friend. This covers pretty well here on this first coat. I can just make out my nail line, so I am going to go in for a second coat. This one also has a really good formula, very easy to use, easy to work with, no formula issues here. I also didn't have any kind of staining with anything in this collection either. So here is our second coat and this one does cover completely in two coats. This one also dries pretty dull and a little bit textured so you will want a nice top coat to smooth everything out and to finish it off. It wasn't difficult to remove, it was a little bit of scrubbing but nothing stuck to the nail like a larger glitter does. So there is two coats. Up next we have I Sir Didymus Yield to Thee and this is described as a bright green with intense red to gold shimmer and UCC seven flakies. I assume that means there's seven different kinds of ultra chrome chameleon flakies. So here's our first coat of I Sir Didymus Yield to Thee. And this one is pretty sheer here on this first coat, but it does have a really, really good formula. Very easy to use, easy to work with. These flakies spread out really, really nicely and evenly on the nail. And you do get a lot of them without having to do anything special to the bottle. So here's our second coat, and surprisingly this covered completely in two coats for me. But depending on your application, I could see you wanting a third coat. That'll also add a little bit more flakies as well. It dries a little bit dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat, but nothing in here is going to dry textured and nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove either. So there's two coats. Up next we have I Move the Stars for No One, and this is described as an inky blue base with intense blue to green to violet shimmer, iridescent blue flakies, and hollow shimmer. Here's our first coat of I Move the Stars for No One. This one also has a really good, really easy to work with formula. It is a little bit sheer and patchy here on this first coat, but it does build up really, really nicely. This one is also one of those super glittery, super sparkly manicures. It's got that kind of glow from within type of feel to it. So here is our second coat, and this one does cover completely in two coats for me. Again, this one will dry down pretty dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat. And it also helps bring out that blue flare that gives it that special glow from within. Nothing in here dries textured, nothing in here is difficult to remove, so you should just be good to go. So there's two coats. Next up we have the Babe with the Power, and this is described as a pale blue base with intense pink to red to yellow shimmer, pink iridescent flakies, and pink to gold micro flakies. Here's our first coat of the Babe with the Power. This is pretty sheer here on this first coat. It is one that's going to have to be built up, but it does have a really nice, really easy to work with formula. Very smooth, no running or pooling or staining. And the shimmer in here stands out pretty nicely considering it's such a nice, light, dainty base. So this surprisingly covered completely in two coats for me though. Depending on your application and your preference, you may opt to go in for a third coat. This one does dry down dull, so again you'll want a nice glossy top coat and nothing in here dries textured or nothing in here is difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Next up we have Dance Magic Dance, and this is described as a cornflower blue to pink thermal with red to blue shimmer and nine ultra chrome chameleon flakies. Here is our first coat of Dance Magic Dance. 
this one's very sheer here on this first coat. I do find that with thermals in general, they tend to be on the more sheer side, but with the thermals that have these added elements, like these flakies, you want those flakies to show up in both states, and it's kind of hard to find an opaque balance between the two. So the nature of these are really just sheer in general. It does build up pretty nicely though. This is the second coat, and I am gonna go in for a third coat. You do get a ton of flakies out without having to do anything special to the bottle. And the transition on this one is extremely strong. I didn't have to do anything super special to get it to transition on camera. So here is our third coat and this does cover completely in three coats. Again, you will want a nice glossy top coat to smooth everything over and make it look nice and cohesive. This dries down dull and it dries down slightly textured because of the flakies, but nothing in here sticks to your nails and nothing in here is difficult to remove. So there is three coats. And here is a look at the cold state, the warm state, and then a side by side. And lastly for today we have Everything's Dancing and this is described as a pale pink with intense purple shimmer, hollow shimmer, and chameleon shifting micro glitters. Here's our first coat of Everything is Dancing. This is pretty sheer here on this first coat. That is kind of the nature of these super light pastel pink shades with the added elements. But it does have a pretty good formula. It is a little bit on the thicker side. It is noticeably thicker than everything else in this collection. Um, I did try to work in thinner coats with it because if you work in thicker coats with these thicker formula polishes, you can start to get a little bubble nail going on. Um, so you will want to work in nice thin coats with this one, but then you risk not having full coverage or having to do fourth coats. So you have to find that fine line between the two. But this does cover completely in three coats for me. It does dry down dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat and it does dry slightly textured so the top coat will help that as well. Nothing in here was obnoxiously difficult to remove but it did take a couple extra scrubs. So there is three coats. So my favorite of this collection is the Big with the Power. This is so beautiful. It's so complimentary on my skin tone. I feel like it's one of those colors that's going to pop off of any skin tones. Um, the flakies in here are beautiful. The formula on this is beautiful. I really, really like this one. And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys saw this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up. And let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I will talk to you again next time.